Fallen News Network, I am on scene at the Fallen High School Gymnasium. Today, we're going to be interviewing the famous Mr. Trefoil, who is famed in the life for his eccentric sports opinions and overall view of the sports limelight. You coach uh, girls varsity uh, basketball, is that correct? Yes, yes. Uh, it's been a pretty good year. Uh, we got a couple weeks left, getting ready for districts, and just want to be playing at, good at the right time. So, looking forward to that and make a run, and hopefully, we make it all the way to the Breslin Center. So, now that is great to hear. Um, do you think you have any uh, college or WNBA contestants on your team? Um, college players, yes, if they work at it. You know, um, one percent of high school athletes make it, but uh, it takes a lot of work. And hopefully, our girls after this year recognize the hard work that they can put in and the goals they can achieve. And anything's possible. So, now, uh, what do you what do you feel about the Super Bowl turnout this weekend? Uh, Super Bowl is fun. Uh, started off pretty boring, but second half was fun, competitive, and can't bet against Patrick Mahomes. You have any stake in the game? Nope, I didn't. Yeah, nope. So you'd say it's a pretty positive year for you so far, first few months? Yeah, yeah. It's been a good start to the year. Uh, Super Bowl is over with. Now we got March Madness coming up, best time of the year, and it's going to be pretty fun. We are steadily approaching the middle school, high school office here to interview Mr. Wardman on his prowess of exercising via yoga and how he's actually using his skills to benefit the students of Fulton High School. Um, no, I was just wondering if Mr. Woodman is in. Looks like he is not in right now, but he should be soon. In the meantime, let's swing it over to Xander for fitness. <laughs> This is Xander, I'm the amateur fitness coach. We have our first workout, some bicep curls. We will have bench press. Don't worry about what others think about you. You can go as light as you want. As long as you're pushing yourself, that's all I care about. I don't need injuries, especially on some sports teams. And we've got some Reverse bar drills might be difficult for some people and some it'll be easy. Keep your elbows in and keep this posture right here. Finally, bow ropes, there are the light ropes and the big ropes. The bigger ropes will be harder to move and stay consistent with. Every single exercise besides the bow ropes do a three by 10. The bow ropes, I want you to do 30 second all out for three sets with 15 second breathers. That's it for fitness. Some updates on the current armed conflicts in Ukraine and Sudan. In Ukraine, the war has come to a stalemate and both sides are digging in for a harsh winter. In Sudan, the Sudanese army is fighting multiple insurgent forces. Now it is Valentine's Day week, of course. Grab your lover by the side, get her a box of chocolates, maybe even a Hershey kiss. So the Spanish word of the day is queso, which means cheese. So stop saying, can I have cheesy queso, please? Because you're literally saying, can I have cheese, cheese? News in, don't say cheesy queso. It just means cheese, cheese. Oh, hello, Mr. Woodman. How is your afternoon going today? It's going fine. So yesterday... And every Thursday, uh -huh. uh, you partake in yoga class, is that correct? Yep. Um, now, where did you get this um, prowess? How did you learn how to be competent in yoga? Well, I before I came to Fulton, I was the elementary counselor for grades K through 3 um, at Carson City Elementary. And I did it as a... I'm sure you're familiar with specials. It was their special, one of their special classes. So I did that for them. Um, that's where I started it. My wife's a certified yoga teacher and she has been encouraging me to 
or had been encouraging me to to get certified because I was teaching kids. And so this past summer, I went through a 200, 230 hour training um, over the summer and became certified as a yoga teacher and instructor for yoga and, and mindfulness and social emotional learning. So that's where I got the, got the ideas and I had been doing it. I did, I started it last spring in, um, the health classes, um, Mrs. Malik's health classes. Um, but that was before I was officially certified. So I was doing it there as well. And then this summer I got the certification. So that's quite the story. <laughs> <laughs> um so does this help you outside of school um in your everyday life yes yeah. certified uh-huh i mean i i partake in yoga when my wife teaches classes and i'm i'm an actual student or a participant and it's helped me with a lot of different things it's helped me with patience being calm um lessening my anxiety if i have it if i have anxiety about things um my flexibility as as I get older, um, and I use it. I also use it with my my teams that I coach. Um, usually before the day before a meet um, or competition, as far, part of our lighter practice, we'll we'll end with a, a short yoga session and a visualization session. And they they seem to enjoy it, and they ask for it every so often as well. <laughs> so. Oh, uh, what's your favorite yoga pose? Quite honestly, um, it would probably be um, the balanced pose seated chair. Um, where you're standing on one leg and you sit back into the, back into the chair with your hands mm -hmm. like this. Um, but the but my absolute favorite yoga pose is the is at the end. It's called there's a name for it. It's called shavasana. And it's your point of rest where you're actually totally relaxed and, and not worrying about anything at all. So that last few minutes that we get in every session, that, that actually has a name and it is Shavasana. And that's, that's my absolute favorite part of it. But as far as actual poses go, it would be the, the balanced pose I spoke of. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not very good at that one. <laughs> um, what benefits could uh, everyday people receive from just doing yoga 15, 20 minutes a day after work? I think that they, if they truly committed themselves to doing it, um, that they would find that they're less stressed. They're more able to manage their anxieties and, and worries about different things. Um, and they would find themselves feeling a little bit better um, just because if you can take away, take away the stress and anxiety of things, I mean, then you're going to be a lot happier. So 15 to 20 minutes. I mean, yeah. Did someone approach you to uh, begin teaching yoga here? Yeah. Or yeah. is it just something you... No, Miss Kovas, Miss Kovas asked me if I wanted to do it here because she knew how much I enjoyed it when I was at, at the elementary uh, elementary oh. level. And I, that was one of the things that I had put on my list of goals is, is to implement some sort of yoga connection like that because I found it's a very good way to connect with the student body. Um, because... I'm, I meet with high schoolers for, for academic reasons all the time, but middle schoolers less, a little bit less. Um, so if I can introduce that to them, I can make, make those relationships and build those connections with them at it earlier when I first meet them. And then we'll have that connection as we move forward through middle school and high school. That's a beautiful thing. <laughs> it really is. So mm -hmm. those bonds will have a lifetime. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Um, that's I really true. appreciate yeah you uh, doing this interview. No, any any other thoughts you have to say about uh, your yoga class, your style? I I would like to 
I would hope that that people enjoy it. it. I mean, I know that not everybody's gonna think it's cool or anything like that, but at least try it and enjoy it and see if they can they can get something out of it. And if they do end up getting something out of it and and look forward to it, then I I think that's a that's a definitely a positive thing. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. Yep. Last night, February 15th, Corin Marchek hit up the stands rapping about his very own whatever. I wasn't there. I had to take my grandma out to dinner. However, the story of his beautiful singing cannot be told. At the wonderful gymnasium of the Fulton High School, there was a mass protest for bullying uh, during last night's basketball games. Now, as you can look around here, um, this morning it's filled with young children hitting the basketball court. Well, last night, it was the set piece for one of the best up-and-coming rappers of this generation. about five really good famous presidents the first one of course is george washington who set an example of, of being a president abraham lincoln saved the country uh calvin coolidge did very well in 1920s with uh, economic policy without really saying very much ronald reagan the actor was a very good president in the 1980s. And then last but not least, Donald Trump. Talk and then hold it up to the camera. Not that close.